Welcome fellow psychonauts. This evening I want to read you a very spooky trip report because it is now spooky month. This trip report that I'm going to read to you this evening may shock or disturb. I mean not really, it's really not that bad. But please beware that this trip report is in fact spooky. It is a very recent report just released a few days ago on Arrowhead by X Delinger. The trip report in question is called Spider Children and it was experienced on a combination of DMT and salvia divinorum, the spookiest psychedelic combination. Do not recommend. <laughs> so if you're in for a scare, let's have some wine. And let's begin. I was hanging out alone in my bedroom one night when I felt brave. I had smoked salvia maybe a hundred times in my early 20s and had only recently smoked DMT for the first time, but had done it several times since. Smoked salvia hundreds of times in your 20s? Oh my gosh, that's more than I've ever done. I dumped a bowl of salvia on aluminum foil and sprinkled a decent amount of DMT on top. I braced myself, held the lighter under the foil and watched the DMT vaporize into my straw. I saved some lung capacity and drew the lighter closer to burn the salvia, watching that smoke also funnel into the straw. Now just a bit of history on my experience with salvia. I usually have a familiar experience, many know it as salvia space. I usually have this feeling that when I get there, I am in the real reality and my life on earth is an illusion or a dream. I also usually sense that some entities there talking about me, but never to me, and never showing themselves. So as I drew in the salvia, I was already feeling the DMT come on. I started getting visuals and the feeling that something bigger than my experience was all around me. And then the salvia hit. It took charge and I was feeling that familiar place again. I sensed the children were present. I slowly looked up into the corner of my ceiling and saw a little blonde girl with a spider body perched up there. She looked back at me and seemed very nonchalant. I looked into the opposite ceiling corner and sure enough, there was a little brown haired boy with a spider body perched there too, just watching me. I knew they were the children that I heard in all my other salvia trips. I was freaking because of how intense it was, but wasn't exactly scared or having a bad time. I know I would be. I just felt overwhelmed. I don't remember anything after that. If I came too slowly or how I felt afterwards, etc. So this person finally meets the children that he hears in all of his salvia trip when he combines it with DMT. He sees them, these children with spider bodies in the corners of his ceiling, and then has no memory of what happens after. This is top tier spooky. I mean, not, not quite as spooky as the Tura. As far as Salvia and DMT goes, this is one of the spookiest trip reports I've ever read. As far as I've read, spiders aren't a common archetype found on Salvia or DMT. I'm not saying that they're rare or anything, but rather I don't think they're a prominent archetype. Children, on the other hand, are often heard on both DMT and Salvia, the children of the Salvia or DMT space. Who are these children? And why did they take on the form of having spider bodies in the dark corners of this person's room? Well, Ex Delinger, you spooked us all. You spooked us all. Well, I hope you enjoyed this freaky little trip report, and thank you, Extolinger, for writing it. I look forward to seeing you again next week for more spooky psychedelic content. In order to avoid getting spider children in the corners of your bedroom ceiling, please give this video a thumbs up and comment down below, spider children be gone, three times to ensure that they do not appear in your room tonight. Well, fellow psychonauts, trip safe and sleep tight. As always, this video is made possible by the interbeings of Patreon. Join us on the other side at Patreon, where you can become an interbeing yourself. 
Just sign up at any tier.